Well today ladies and gentlemen, it's gonna be a good one. Today we're gonna be checking out the JJ Jr., the signature mini Jerry Cantrell head from Freeman. Let's get into it. So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ray. I'm a guitar player here on YouTube and man, I am so excited, so jacked up and so enthused to finally not only play this amplifier, but just share it with you guys. Before we get into today's video, first off, if you're brand new to my channel, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day to come hang out with me. Do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. I'd really, really appreciate it. But most importantly, you longtime viewers and subscribers, thank you for always holding it down and tuning back in here on the channel. I love you guys so much. And lastly, one last thing, I'm sorry of all these announcements. I just released my business, musictheoryformetal.com. It's doing so well at the time of filming this video. It's just like a couple days old and uh, I'm just very, very excited. So if you guys wanna check out my website, my uh, instructional learning website, musictheoryformetal.com, link is down below in the description, all right? So right off the bat, I'm really excited because I wanna tell you guys about this amplifier, this unit specifically. This very head, is the exact same head that was in Fluff's video that he put out a little over a year ago at the time of this video being dropped. Yeah, so the story is, one of my viewers and one of my patrons for this channel, for our channel, sent this in and he said that, hey, he bought this from Fluff directly whenever Fluff sold it. I don't know exactly when it was, but it's cool, man. Like, this head has already been f YouTube famous and already has, like, you know, kind of a story and a vibe to it. So it's just kind of cool how it, like, it made its way to me, and uh, I don't know, I just kind of like that, and I just wanted to share that story with you. But yeah, man, pretty straightforward amplifier here. You got two channels, a clean and a dirty. You have a different voice switch here um, on the high gain channel, which is pretty dope. And then you have a bright switch as well that, you know, brightens and or darkens your, your tone on the clean channel. But uh, other than that, man, it's pretty much it. Pretty much just a straightforward... Not too many bells and whistles. Well, there is one bell and whistle. There is actually a balanced XLR output for uh, silent recording for you bedroom players. All right, so how today's video is going to work is first I got a demo song using my 1971 Gibson Les Paul custom tuned to drop C sharp. All right, so that's the demo song. Then I'll do a little bit of play throwing and twisting the knobs and getting lost in the amplifier. And for that, I'm using my 1992 Gibson Les Paul Standard loaded with EMGs, all right? But other than that, man, I'm done rambling, I'm done talking. I wanna show you guys this thing right now. Let's get in some tones.
Alright everybody, that's everything I got for you with this amplifier. My overall summary, it's dirty man. It's dirty, it's nasty, it's it's pretty sick, honestly. What I like about this amplifier, you know, the clean channel, yeah, sure, whatever. Clean channel is clean channel. I'm not too fond of cleans. I mean, I'm <laughs> like <laughs> clean sound like I don't know. Every clean channel sounds the same to me. So like I'm not like super picky about cleans. Um but the the high gain and the channel two, I guess you call it, the high gain channel, whatever that is, um, is really kinda not really articulate and not really precise, but very dirty and grungy. <laughs> ah, duh, obviously. But just like in the best way possible, just very grungy, very, not sludgy, but just, just nasty sounding, man. Just very 1992 sounding, and I love it for that, honestly. I love this amplifier, man, and I really enjoyed playing it and having it here for the time being, um, having it here on vacation in the studio. Thank you so much to the gentleman, once again, for sending it in. So everyone, what'd you think of the tones? What'd you think of the video? Leave all your thoughts down below. Let's have a nice friendly discussion about this amplifier. Guys, a huge shout out to all my patrons and everybody who supports me. If you guys want to check out some music theory for metal.com, again, the link is down below in the description. I am out of here. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay metal, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.